Hey everyone, we're going to be shucking this 5 terabyte Seagate drive and I'm going to be extending my true NAS pool. So I currently have 10 terabytes, we're going to add 5 more and I'll have 15 terabytes. So let's go ahead and open this up and we'll take the drive out of its uh, plastic case and um, uh, show how we put it in the server and extend in true NAS. All right, so here's the uh, five terabyte Seagate drive. Got this at Costco for, I think it was like 90 bucks. It was on sale. Every once in a while these go on sale. So I, I never buy them like over a hundred dollars. I always just wait. Costco usually has them uh, for about 90 bucks. So yeah, we're just, the plan is to uh, just basically crack it open here and uh, take the drive out. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up. So there's kind of like seams here and I'm going to try to get this knife in there. See what we can do. So I can see it's starting to crack open nicely. So I'm just going to run this all the way down a couple times just to loosen it up. It's a good crack. I'm kind of just pulling it apart. Get this second one in here to pry it a little bit. And I can see it's starting to pop up from the top here. So far, so good. All right, before I pull any further, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna carefully make a little incision here. Okay. There we go. There we go, so that was pretty easy. So now we're about halfway there. We need to somehow get it out of this casing. I'm being a little rough with it just because I've done this before. Uh, so I don't expect it to be too difficult. Okay, here we go. So it's out of the plastic casing. I'm just removing all this stuff. And we still have the USB uh, adapter here. So I'm gonna take this foil off of it and then uh, pull this out and then it'll be ready to install in the um, server. So I kind of remember this was being kind of a pain last time. I might try very carefully to cut this somehow. Okay, so you can see the adapter is now exposed. <clears throat> and all we really need to do is just pull it out. I'm just kind of carefully now taking the rest of this wrapping off. All right, that looks pretty clean. You know, I might not even take the rest of this off. We'll see how clean I can cut it there. But yeah, now we're just going to pull this straight out. And there we go. Now we have a um, SATA adapter. We can just plug right into the server. Um, so yeah, that was pretty simple. Um, you know, I'm just going to take this all off right now. Okay. 
there we go. That looks pretty clean. So Seagate 5 terabyte Barracuda, uh, ready to be installed into the server. All right, here's the server I'm going to install it into. I'm going to install it into this bay right here. I actually don't have any more drive caddies. Uh, these are just empty trays. Uh, so I need to swap out this one. So these two right here are other five terabyte Barracudas that are already in my NAS. This is a 256 gigabyte solid state drive that I have using um, just as extra storage for my Proxmox server. I'm gonna get rid of that and use this in a different server. So I'm just gonna pull this out swap out the 256 solid state drive and put in the new five terabyte and then this will be a five terabyte this will be five terabyte and this will be five terabyte and they will all be part of my true nas um, um, pool so yeah let's go ahead and turn the server off and um, swap those drives out Okay, now we'll install the drive. So it's just as simple as lining it up, putting it in. Make sure you press it nice and firmly here. Feels like it went in. Um, so yeah, we'll just power power the server on now. So let me just plug the uh, power cord back in. Hopefully we should see four lights. That would be a good indicator that it's somewhat working, and then we'll just configure it in TrueNAS. All right, there we go, we got four lights. That means they at least all have power, which is good. So we'll give this about, I don't know, 10 minutes to boot up uh, before we can access TrueNAS, and then we will take it from there. All right, the server's back up and running. So I'm actually running my TrueNAS in a virtual machine. So I'm using Proxmox. Um, and there's one quick step I need to do. I need to pass the disk that I just added to this virtual machine. Um, so if you're not using a virtual machine, you can just uh, skip this step. Um, but again, I need to do this because I am running it in a virtual machine. So let's go take a look at my TrueNAS. And if we look at the hardware here, you can see that there's already two disks that have been passed. So these are the, the two disks that I currently have. I just need to add the third one. Um, so the first thing we need to do is we need to get the new ID of that third disk. So you see this long uh, SCSI ID here? We need to find out what the ID of the new disk is. So to do that, we're going to go to the shell of the actual entire Proxmox. So if we click shell here, uh, now we're going to list the drives by ID. So we can say ls slash dev slash disk slash by ID. All right, so now this is just a listing of all the connected drives to this um, machine. And we're looking for one that matches the pattern that we saw earlier. So let me go back to TrueNAS here, look at the hardware. And now let me bring that shell back up. Okay, so we need SCSI 35,000. So that's this these sections here. And so we have C437, so that's this one. That's the first drive. Uh, DC98, that's this one. So our new third drive must be this one here, this E44D. So I'm gonna grab, copy this, and just paste it. And the command we're gonna to need to run looks something like this. And I can paste this in the um, comment section. So we need QM set 119. So this refers to your ID, whatever virtual machine ID. So we want 119. Then dash vert IO2. Not quite sure what that is. I think it's just a driver for disks, but who knows. Disk and then slash uh, dev slash disk slash by dash ID. And now we're going to paste in that new ID. All right, just make sure that looks right. And let's click enter. And if everything goes right, in theory, it should just pass that disk to the virtual machine. So 
probably have to refresh that page. Might even have to reboot it, I'm not quite sure. All right guys, so I think I know what's going on here. I accidentally overwrote my vert IO2. So I actually needed to make that command say vert IO4 because I wanted to add an additional. So what I basically just did was I replaced what I had here with the new drive. So I need to go back and add the original drive that I had here as vert IO2 uh, and then vert IO4 will add the new drive. So shouldn't be too tricky. Let's go back to that shell we had open and let's fix our mistake first so i'm going to grab vert io2 which is um so no we want the original disc that was there so the one that was c43 we don't see here anymore okay so we'll just arrow up well first let's copy that like that c43 basically just run this command again but with correct one okay okay so we saw that change now let's go run this original command we had with the new drive which is e44 e44 and we'll change this to vert io4 so yeah i forgot what this meant exactly but it's just i guess the label So in theory, we should see, there we go. So that looks good. These are all unique, it looks like. Great. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and reboot this TrueNAS because I think it got messed up because basically one of the drives it was expecting wasn't the same. So I'm just gonna reboot this for good measure before I go back into, uh, into TrueNAS to configure the pool. All right, the server uh, is back up. So let's go log in. Okay, and it's good that you can see the pool is online. So I checked before I rebooted it last and it was actually offline because of that mistake I made earlier. So it's good that it, uh, it fixed itself. Um, so let's go make sure that we see the new disc. So we should see three discs here. Yep, so these are the original two. This is the new third one. So that means it's uh, successfully been passed into the VM. And now we just basically need to add this new disc, which is VTBD2 to our pool. So let's go take a look at our pool. And this is my main pool. Um, so if you go to this little gear icon and click add VDEVs, this is how we're gonna add the new drive. So you can see it automatically pops up with that new disk here. And we're gonna make it a data VDEV. So just um, arrow this thing over. And it gives this warning here, which I'm not sure exactly why. I think normally they're expecting you add multiple drives at once, but we're just adding one. Uh, so I think it's just a little bit of a warning. So I'm just gonna force that and confirm and continue. And then add VDEVs and added VDEVs. Added disks are erased and the pool is extended onto the new disks with the chosen topology. So that sounds okay to me. So let's add the VDEVs. Extending the pool. All right, so in theory, Okay, we have 5.2 terabytes free. So that's used. I was looking for my total and I was like, I should have like 15, but that's the used amount, that's the available. So effectively it has been expanded. Uh, sweet, awesome. So there we go, that uh, error has gone away. Used space is at 61%. And uh, yeah, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, yeah, pretty simple. Can't complain. Uh, thanks for watching.